Hello again, soapers, and welcome back to your daily soap. Today, we're continuing our walk through Genesis, and today we're looking at Genesis chapter 44. What verse or verses rose up for you? Uh, for me, it was verses 33 and 34, which says, Please, my Lord, let me stay here as a slave instead of the boy, and let the boy return with his brothers. For how can I return to my father if the boy is not with me? I cannot bear to see what this would do to my father. My O, oh, my observation is, Judah's request is a far cry from the man who once cruelly handed his hated brother over to the slave traders in a fit of jealousy. Judah appears to be more aware of the needs of others and is willing to now sacrifice. I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing. Let me start over. Um, Judah appears to be more aware of the needs of others and is willing to now sacrifice his very life to protect his father from pain. My A, my application, and the first thing that I thought of as I read this was John 13, 35, which says, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. As I move closer to Christ, I am made more aware of the needs and the feelings of others, and by the Spirit, I am compelled to act. To be a disciple, I need to move a little closer to him so that I might love others more fully. And finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, by your word and by your spirit, draw me closer to you. Grant me your eyes so that I might more fully see the needs of others. Grant me the courage to respond so that I might simply point others to you. Amen. So this is my soap today. I hope you find these videos encouraging and helpful to you as we're reading together through Genesis. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at Genesis chapter 45. I hope you'll be able to join us for that. And once again, just so glad that you're able to join us today. And now would you join me in a word of prayer as I pray for us collectively this pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just simply give thanks uh, we thank you for the gift of your son uh, through whom we have been saved. And Father, we have been renewed in him. And Father, in that renewal, may a part of that uh, key aspect of that is for us to love others. Father, that is how we show that we are your disciples. So Father, yes, give us your eyes uh, so that we might see the needs of others around us Grant us the courage by your spirit that we might go out and actively serve and ultimately point others to you. Thank you for your word, Father. Thank you for this time together. Father, I pray for everyone who is watching this video and is reading through your word that they may grow closer to you. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. Be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow.